Hi, welcome back to the channel everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Penrith Golf Hub. We've got a Mizuno head-to-head -head video for you today. And of course, we're gonna pitch up the brand new JPX 921 forged iron. And I think everybody's gonna to wanna to see this particular head-to-head -head, and it's against the 919 forged, so the older model. So big difference we've seen in the new one is introduction of chromoly into the forged head material. We saw it in the hot metal, but we're now seeing it in the forged head. So be interesting to see is that chromoly addition, that little bit of extra ball speed, which I did see in my review video and the consistency was really impressive. Um, is it as good or is it better than the 919? Okay, so we're going to start off with the JPX 919, so the previous model which has just been superseded by the 921. Obviously it was a very, very good iron, it's a very popular iron for a lot of golfers, it's that cavity, it's that forge, you've got the forgiveness there, so it does tick a lot of boxes. So it has been a very popular iron. I've got both these in seven irons and they're both in the same shaft, same makeup, so they're identical for this test. Well, that's a nice opening shot there. A little bit of right to left on that. Lovely strike, lovely feel as we always expect. And we can see there 122 ball speed, 188 on that carry. So the 919 uh, lofting is a little bit different to the new one. So this is a 32 degrees of loft for a 7-iron. We know the new one is 31 degrees. So there is a, a difference of going slightly stronger than the new one by one degree. So we need to keep that into account when we're looking at these speed numbers. Because that's what I'm really sort of interested is looking how the, how the speed and also the consistency between these two irons. Okay, not bad, wasn't quite as flushed as that first one. Yeah, 121.5, just a tiny bit of drop on speed, just through that little bit of strike. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful high ball flight. Does feel good. I mean, every Mizuno iron feels great. You know, they're renowned for it. They feel the grain flow forging on 22.7. So see, we're sitting around that sort of 122 ball speed mark at the moment. A couple more shots. Oh, that's a good shot as well. So I'll put some good strikes on these. Be really interesting test now against the new one because that performs quite nicely. So that's 125, did flush that one really well there. And again, nice. Okay, so there's a few shots with the, the 919. Great iron, it is a good iron, really good looking iron, but it'd be interesting to see how the new one looks differently, possibly. Um, is it a better look? And obviously does it perform a little bit better? That's what we're gonna look at. Okay, so the new JPX 9214 Giant. And to be honest, first instincts, must get these side by side here. For me, it's much sleeker, it's a better looking club. I'm just looking from the back section to start off with there. It just looks a little bit more compact, but just looks a bit, a little bit more quality in the finish. Just with that little bit of high gloss chroming edging in around that sort of badge section. Um, just on the back section of the, of the sole there, you see that little bit of polished off section, mixing that in with the satin there, I think looks absolutely stunning. Putting these down by the golf ball side by side, we've got a bit more of a compact head here. And when I'm, when I'm seeing compact, it's not so much from the heel to toe, they look very similar on the blade length, which is good because it gives you that confidence there, but top edge is a little bit thinner on the new one. Definitely a little bit thinner there and probably just a little bit offset, less offset there that I can visually see. So for me, it's ticking a couple of boxes. It's a better looking club in its appearance down by the golf ball. And that's, some people aren't too bothered about that and it doesn't really affect a lot of people, but I think certain golfers like to, you know, they, 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 they know what they like in a way, in a, in a shape of a head. And I think that's important to get that look right. So for me, it wins on the look side of things. Okay, let's see what it does on its performance. Okay, not a bad start, wasn't quite flush that, but touch up the left side, not by much though. So 120, it was actually quite straight that to be fair, 125 ball speed there, didn't flush that, so mm, maybe seeing a little bit to start off with. 
So we know this loft is 31, so it's one degree stronger, so we should see a touch more ball speed with that against, against the 919. A nice strike. Just working a fraction on that left side. Felt good on the connection, 129 ball speed. That was a little bit better on that strike there, I must admit. 128.4 there. Big carry there, a little bit up that left side, but big carry there. That was nice. Very similar on the flight there. I know there's a one degree difference there, but it's height and the flight just looks very, very sort of similar. We've just seen a little bit more speed there, 126.7. You see that dispersion ring just getting a little bit, a little bit tight, which is good on those first three shots, but also a little bit further on that. And that's those dispersion rings there is carry. Get some good carry numbers there, 200 carry. Wow, definitely striking these a little bit better than my review video. I didn't quite have a good swing day that day. Didn't quite get the strikes as good. Feel a little bit more confident with this. Oh yeah, and that feels great. I mean. It, does it feel better than the 919? Do you know what? I'm splitting hairs. If I say it does, it's, it's very tough to sort of feel. Is it softer? I don't think it is. They're both forged. They're both the HD sort of grain flow forge that Mizuno are famous for. Yes, there's some cremoli in there. I don't know. I can't feel that, I don't think. Uh, the consistency is better there. We are getting that bit more speed there. Let's give us one more, one more swing. Try and keep that dispersion ring nice. Yeah, and it's lovely and straight. I didn't quite flush that as much as the others, to be fair. But I would take that on the golf course all day long. Okay, performed nice that, didn't it? Let's go look at some numbers a little bit more detail against those two irons. Okay, so we're just going to take a little look at the side angle and, and uh, above angle of those shots first. So um, JPX 919 is the white ball flight here, so we can see, you know, it was pretty, pretty good. A little bit of a pull there, a little bit of a push in there. Um, flight was was pretty typical. We've got that sort of difference from that low one to the high one. Again, probably just through a little bit of that strike, which is a little bit of that front to back uh, distance dispersion. And then if I just flip this into the yellow flight, which is the 921, you see obviously a bit more distance there, a bit more tighter on that front to back, a little bit tighter on the shots there, which is good. Again, that's, that's obviously a bit more me, probably more than the actual club itself. I hit some good swings on those. Um, and a little bit tighter through that, that window that the ball comes out on. And then when we look at the, the sort of numbers um, there, you can see um, club head speed 87.3 average and 98.6. So it's a little bit slower than 919. I'm not sure why. The shaft is exactly the same, length exactly the same. No differences there. Maybe I just felt a bit more confident with the 921. That wasn't intentional, but obviously just seemed to be a little bit more confident now and I have warmed up previously so it's not like the second batch I was just getting warmed up um so that's, that's going to take a, a bit of account of the of the ball speed there isn't it so you see 122 127 is a difference there now we've got to remember there's one degree difference of loft as in stronger with the 921 so that's going to give us a few mile an hour maybe two mile an hour ball speed probably just with that one degree there I would say um and then also also we've got like nearly one and a half um or, or nearly just shot two mile an hour quicker with a club head speed. So that's going to equate probably to the difference between those two. So is that the cremoli in there? Ah, I'll tell you what, it's hard to say, isn't it? Probably, ah, it's a tough one, isn't it, to sort of say, is it giving us anything there? You maybe have to go through a, a, a bigger batch of, of shots um, hitting a sort of test in a way. Launch 18 against 19 there, so you'd expect that launch to be a little bit lower, that loft. Spins a little bit lower there. Um, again with that probably that loft angle there and obviously carries a little bit more with that extra sort of ball speed at 202. Spins a bit on that low side for me, I probably prefer to see that spin up a little bit more. I did see that lower spin um, sort of model there in the review video so that would just worry me a little bit but having said that descent angle there coming at 45 it's, it's got a little bit of stopping power when it comes in through that descent angle so I'd be confident that it would stop but I'd, I'd just worry then when you get into the rough and moisture and all the things that that take spin away when you're out on a golf course in that gaming environment, how that spin would then possibly drop a little bit too low. That's the only thing that would concern me a little bit on that. Okay, everybody, so there we go. There's the uh, the new 921 against the 919. So to summarize that really, I think, you know, looking at the looks of it, 
um, performance, uh, sorry, the looks and, and, and how it sits behind the golf ball, uh, the colour and the style of the club, definitely the 921 is the winner on my, on my view there. I think that's an absolutely beautiful looking golf club. It just oozes class and quality there. So definitely a thumbs up and a, and a, a good improvement from the 919 in my view. Feel of it, as I said before, I think it's very tough to, to say if there's any difference of that feel of the ball off the face. The sound, the acoustics seem very, very similar. The, 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 the sort of, I think the feel as the ball comes off the club face is very similar. Pro, both feel really, really good. So it's very hard to split the two on that. In terms of this edition of the Cromoli, I mean, it's half a millimeter thinner club head, um, sorry, face than it is against the 919. I was seeing that, I tell you what, you know, you've got to weigh in differences of subtleties of strike, obviously face angle as I deliver the club, which is all me, obviously. Um, you know, if I get somewhere, get the club face a little bit more closed, that's going to increase ball speed as well. So there's, there's all those tiny little subtleties we've got to weigh into it. So it's very tough to say, you know, obviously there's that degree difference of the loft. I did swing that club a little bit quick. It wasn't intentional, just probably felt a little bit more comfortable. Maybe even the looks influenced that a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to say again, but you know, a bit of club head speed, a little bit stronger on that loft. I probably is giving us that gap of that, um, that difference there. Okay, but love to hear your thoughts as always. Have you got 919s in the bag? Would you consider upgrade? And love to hear your thoughts. I think it's a beautiful looking golf club. Um, so hats off Mizuno. They obviously make some great gear, don't they? Okay, post comments down below. Love to hear your feelings and thoughts as always. I'll try to respond to as many of you as I possibly can. If you enjoy the content, loads more videos coming your way, loads more comparisons. If there's any that you want me to do, I'll try my very best. Again, post them in the comments down below. I'll do my very best to get those done for you and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.